Hey y'all, it's Terry from Sister to the Traveling Brush. Look how nasty it is on the inside. This was my husband's old drawer. And like, what do men put in their bathroom drawers? I mean, it looks like he spilled motor oil in here. Now I'm moving my stuff into this bathroom and I don't want no dirty drawers. So I'm gonna use the mulberry tissue paper. This is called Gazelle. I looked at several this morning, trying to decide whether to match the other decor in there or whatever. I decided to just use one that I liked. This is, I love this one because it has a lot of deep purples in it. And I'm hoping that some of the flowers and the deepness in it will hide some of the uglies that he has spilled in the drawer over the years. I cleaned it out this morning and I put a coat of salvation solution. This one's clear and it's a primer that blocks the tannins and things from bleeding through. So I put a coat of that in there early this morning. Uh, a smart person at this point would have a tape measure in here and measure the inside of your drawer, left to right, top to bottom and all that and get your correct measurements and have a straight edge available for cutting your papers appropriately. But you know me, I'm always, going on the fly. I've got this and I've got something to stick it down with, so we're gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do is cut it a little bit big. So this is an option. I'm gonna cut it a little bit big and after it dries, I'm gonna come back with an X-Acto knife and cut those edges. So here's what the print looks like. Isn't that pretty? Love that. And this is called mulberry tissue paper, but it's like a thick dryer sheet type stuff. It's not, it's not like paper paper. I, I love it. It's definitely more like fabric. It's woven like a fabric, but it's not fabric. It is. I don't. I don't know. It, I don't know what it's made out of, but it feels like a really well-made dryer sheet. So what I'm going to do is pick out the pattern. I'm gonna turn you here this way to where you can see more of that instead of me. And now we're about to check our measurements for, please let two of these in width be perfect. Two of these in width, they're near about perfect. And it's gonna go over the edge a little bit. Guess we can look at the writing. This is the top side. That's so gorgeous. If you know how much I love purple, you'll know how beautiful this is. But see how easy it is to deal with. I don't know whether to double up right here in the middle, then I already meet the edges. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And choose a side to start with. I really like that lighter flower showing. Can y'all see that? Yep. So I did bring an ink pen in here for all the good. I don't know if it's gonna do good or if it's not gonna do good. But we shall see. And I'm just lining it up with the edge and with the top edge, so that all that's really gonna leave me having to, if my drawer is square, and it just depends on how old your house is, whether things like that have settled, but that's why we custom mark them. And I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to see this pin mark or not, but it's gonna make a good sharp fold in here, even if not, and I'll be able to see that fold when I'm cutting. And remember, I'm gonna or the intention is, I may be lying, I may cut it right on this in, in just a minute. But I, I've got a lot that I wanna do today, so I'm not gonna spend a tremendous amount of time on this. And I just wanted you to see where it could be done pretty quickly. Actually, my ink pen mark showed up pretty good. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And I'm gonna cut right on it. And the plan is, here's my plan. The plan is now I'm gonna to try to cut it to be an exact fit there. And if it doesn't, I'll come in with a small brush and touch up with purple paint and you still won't be able to see that I messed up. How about that? Move forward and worry about that later. That's, that's the plan. Now this is left over. Still use this on another project. That would be beautiful on a, um, like a tissue, like a wooden tissue box or something like that to put in this same bathroom or someplace else. But let's see, make sure I've got this one marks just as good. 
And when you're decoupaging this, it, you just use whatever. Like I'm gonna use the DIY liquid patina because I had some and I had some open, but I could have just as well used Mod Podge or whatever. Normally, I would probably do this with a chip brush, but guess what, no chip brush. No chip brush in here this morning. So I'm gonna use this is a like a French tip brush. This one's from Dixie Belle. I have these for sale at my store, but I'm thinking this will do good getting in the corners for me. So what I'm gonna do first is just put, I'm gonna turn this around where you can see over here. There you go. And I'm just gonna slap some of this in here. I'm gonna do this first side first since we're doing this with two different pieces. This is a lot waterier than Mod Podge. Make sure that right side up again. I do that. Yep. Okay, then I'm just gonna stick it in. Line it up. And stick it down. I brought my brayer in here just because I'm so in love with brayers and how cool it is to roll stuff down, but you could use your hand, which I'm mostly gonna do. A credit card would have been smart to use. I'm gonna now use the, see if this edge is sharp enough and it's not. I'm gonna use the edge on this paint. This stuff's gonna dry clear, so it's not bothering me that it's going up on the side there. I'm gonna allow this to overlap there in the middle because it's gonna look like one big painting of some sort in the end anyway. So now I'm gonna go back to that same make sure there's plenty right there and then I'm gonna lay it on thick I want to get this thing down first then I'm wanting plenty of whatever your decoupage medium is to go on top of this paper and saturate it really good it's gonna kind of stiffen it up and that kind of stuff but it also makes sure that you know it has good adhesion and that it's going to stay down and not bubble up later but if it was to bubble up later just come back with some more and you know probably even with a hot iron i mean you could do that with mod podge you could probably do that with this too so i'm just going right back over it and saturating it and because the you know this paper is kind of holy this stuff's going right through it and right down to the already you know, partially adhered amount that I put down to stick it down with, you know, it didn't stick down like glue the first time because I didn't put it on real thick. It, pro it may have stuck down better if we had used something like Mod Podge. But I always believe that you can, you know, if you always are waiting until you have the perfect tools, sometimes that'll keep you from doing stuff. I don't want anything keeping me from doing stuff. Layering it and layering it and layering it on. Now I'm going back over and putting all of my brush strokes in the same direction. That likely will not matter. I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here? And you don't need a primer for this. I needed a primer because I was trying to hide all the ugly, who knows what greasy contraption of stuff that my husband had had in this drawer. I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? You can sand it and distress it, paint over it, do anything you want to. It would look very pretty. Uh, paint it around the edges and then paint it over it just a little bit. But there you go. I don't know how long that took us. 
probably 10 minutes or so, maybe 15, because I was jacking my jaws, but it definitely does. I should have took a before picture. I don't know why I forgot, but here we go. You can see it's already drying. An hour from now, it'll be dry. I'm gonna give it until, you know, probably five or six hours, something like that, to be good and dry. And by tonight, my hairbrush and toothbrush and all that'll be stored in this beautiful drawer, my favorite drawer in the house, I'm sure. So thank y'all for watching. If you have any questions about it, just let me know. Thanks, bye.